Some very enormous and bizarre Shibarian related news has just broken. What I'm going to share in this video is so huge that it dwarfs any other news you may have heard. Stay for this, since it's the good stuff. Welcome to Dr. Crypto, your daily serving of Shiba. This is the spot for you if you're curious about anything related to Shiba. If you want to keep informed about all the latest news forecasts and stay ahead of the curve in the crypto industry, subscribe. To get more ship news, be sure to click the like button. The second installment of Shaitashi's series of blogs has been published. To begin, the arrival of this second blog indicates that the release of Shibarium is drawing near. Shaitoshi has said that there would be four or five more blogs after the first one before the introduction of Shibarium, as I mentioned in yesterday's video. Consequently, we should all begin doing our part to preparing ourselves for the release of Shibarium. The second article is an in-depth look at what occurred to Shiba Inu in 2022. Let's start the week off correctly, Shaitoshi said on Twitter to mark the debut of this new blog. The Shibarium will debut a new blog in the year 2022. The academic year reviews the last 12 months and looks forward to the next Shibarium. Read it to get caught up, and be assured that I, too, have studied up to sum it all up for you. Shaitashi introduces himself as a member of the Shiba Inu community. Despite acknowledging that he is not a typical community member, he insists that this does not make him any less a part of the group. He might be seen as a deity by some, and a fan by others. Although he disagrees with both, he is certain that he is taking the necessary steps to ensure that Shiba Inu is the greatest there is. But if you believe Shaitashi fits under any of those categories, feel free to let us know in the comments. Then he spoke on the reasoning for his decision to eradicate the breeds. He began by expressing his appreciation for the hard effort and positive impact of all the breeders in the past, especially Trophius, Kraken, Queenie, and Milkshake. According to Shaitoshi, though, their responsibilities have grown beyond protecting the Shiba Inu research facility. To do their duty protecting the project, they had to fight back against Futters and be available whenever members of the community had queries. However, without any assistance from the real dev team, they are now more successful in helping Shiba Inu gain collaborations with some big-name firms like Bugatti Luggage Group. So, Shaitoshi believes they should just use the name The Genuine Squad that Trophius came up with. What this implies is that they are still part of the Shiba Inu ecosystem, but their attention is being directed somewhere outside just protecting Shiba Inus. After that, he moves on to discussing the Shiba Inu video game Shiba Eternity. He begins by explaining that the production team overestimated how much it would cost to make Shiba Eternity, mostly due to their decision to contract with an established video game development company like Playside Studios. It turned out to be a fantastic game. While the game debuted at the top of both app stores, the development team supposedly did not make back their money on day one. But I don't see any subtlety there. However, as Shaitashi points out, I'd like to extend my gratitude to William Volk, who has been focusing on the app and revenue drivers that will increase installs, CPI, ARPDAU, RPU, and other metrics as we scale up to reach profitability and reverse the game's fortunes on iOS and Google Play. I acknowledge this will be difficult to do without a massive advertising budget. Since the goal was to provide a fun and useful game for the wider Shiboshi community, he doesn't think of it as a failure. And it sums up the game to a T. However, many interesting additions, such as new stages and competitions, are in the works for the game. However, it is scheduled to follow the successful introduction of Shibarium. Shaitoshi moves on to discuss Welly. To begin, he brings forth information that the majority of us were previously unaware of. Welly has no idea why the other breeds are so displeased with his introduction to the Shiba Inu community. Is there a particular reason you can think of why the breeds would have resisted Welly acceptance? In the space provided below, we invite you to share your opinions with us. Regardless, Shaitashi continues by telling us what's up with Welly. They are currently working on several franchise possibilities and have begun refurbishing their first facility. He also says he has looked at ways to make Welly more than simply a point system for the team. He appears very certain of his solution, but we won't know for sure until Shibarium undergoes beta testing.
Shamba style is the next topic that Shaitoshi discusses, and the John Richmond collaboration is definitely in mind while discussing Shaiba fashion. In addition, we learned something here that most of us were probably unaware of. The Welly group was the ones that connected the deaf group with the John Richmond group. Please leave a comment and spread the word if you found this video helpful. As a result, I've been able to better adapt to YouTube's ranking system and produce higher quality films. To begin, Shaitoshi said that the introduction of 40 sheet pieces had been delayed due to development time constraints. He is cognizant of the fact that the production of one-of-a-kind items is a laborious process. The works were almost ready for release when the market suddenly changed course. Without the solution they came up with, he would have had to pay for it out of his own money. Therefore, we will not be releasing the remaining 40 pieces. Avatars and metaphors decked up in John Richmond x Shiba Inu garb are what we may expect instead. This is the uniform garb for all avatars. The fact that I still want to see a supermodel dressed as a Shiba Inu is something he brings up as well. In fact, I've discovered a tailor who is both more economical and quicker. I started developing a whole new method of dissemination and a new pricing structure that will enable us to pass along savings from reduced custom design prices to the public. When the moment is appropriate, we can go ahead with creating custom attire for SHIB. He has transitioned to a metaphorical discussion about sheep. Shadoshi begins by saying that he was introduced to the team working on the Shiba Inu metaverse, which he believes to be the greatest metaphors in the world by William Volk, the principal developer of Shiba Eternity. So, in addition to that group, we have the Shiba MV team developing the metaphors. The Shiba MV team is made up of both the original members and some new recruits. He said the group has been working tirelessly while staying within their financial means. Then he extends an invitation to SXSW 2023 so that everyone may see the future of metaphors firsthand. According to Shaitashi, if you show up, you could even walk away with some Shiba gear. Shibarium is the final project he discusses. He jumps right into it, saying, As you can see, while many criticized my decisions to work on certain projects, my focus this whole time was to understand how to make Shibarium different, viable for the common ecosystem, and not just scammy projects. And then he proceeds to describe his efforts to assemble the best team possible for the endeavor. Despite the continual torrent of op Shibarium and unflattering remarks about my character, I have pursued this with single-minded dedication. He goes on to describe the toll that working on SHIB has had on him personally, professionally, and financially. Additionally, he claimed that he has been the target of stalking, extortion, and even death threats. He decided to embark on a spiritual quest because he felt compelled to do so, and now he claims that the experience has strengthened his will to improve his situation and become the greatest version of himself. He seems to have learned to delegate authority to Shiba groups and let individuals make decisions. There is currently no set timetable or even a launch window for the better release of the Shibarium platform. Soon, friends, till then be well. That was all Shaitoshi said. Okay then, take care. However, I do hope you are aware that you may share your opinions in the space provided below. The day is over now. Remember to give it a big thumbs up. To see our most recent material, share it and subscribe to the channel.